Hello everyone, welcome to the Critter Cafe Home Away From Home. Really missing everybody this MFM weekend, but I thought I'd give you a couple of my recipes to help make you feel like you're still getting the goodies at the Critter Cafe. The first recipe we're doing this weekend is based off the Southern Cracker Salad recipe. Uh, it's a real easy recipe everybody should be able to do as long as you like tomatoes. And uh, we're gonna zip it up a little bit and make it something pretty tasty. We're gonna start off with some tomatoes. We actually have one of the tomatoes from our own little COVID garden. We've gotten two so far, so it's been pretty pitiful. So we're gonna slice these up. Now, the one thing to remember when you're doing this, if you're doing tomatoes that are really juicy and have a lot of seeds, you want to take the seeds out. So we're just going to throw our tomatoes into our bowl here as we're cutting them up and get all this set. It's been really different this year. Usually, instead of just cooking for Lou and I, we're cooking for the entire MFM Critter Cafe, so instead of just a few servings, we're usually doing 100 plus each meal. So this has been a real different time for us, just not having the things we're used to doing. I'm sure everybody else is having the same issue. Really am missing everyone. Really do hope to see you all soon, too. So we've got our tomatoes all cut up here. So we've got our tomatoes set. And this is the easy part of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some saltine crackers. I recommend doing the ones with the salted tops. And you're just going to crush them up a little bit. You don't want to crush them up too small for this. Now the trick with this is you want to eat it right away. You do not want to make this ahead of time and let it sit. Because you want it while the crackers are still crunchy. So we've got our crackers in there, all crunched up. We're going to add some salad shrimp. Some imitation crab, or you could use regular some feta cheese. Now if you're not a fan of seafood or can't eat it, you can always do this with chicken too. And then we're going to do a little bit of pepper. Just a tiny bit of seasoning salt. And then we're going to do some mayonnaise. Now, I usually use Duke's mayonnaise in, when I cook for MFM for the simple reason it does not have added sweeteners in it. So it makes it nice and you don't have any strange little flavors in there. So just mix this all up together. Without making a mess. This has been really a challenge doing this for you all. The simple fact we had to redo the kitchen so we could actually film this. And because the bad thing is when I cook, I'm usually like the Swedish chef and stuff goes everywhere. So I'm trying to do this nice, neat, and tidy. There goes the amount. We don't have our four-legged helpers here in the kitchen tonight. Otherwise, they would be trying to help clean up anything I drop. We're getting this all good and stirred up, getting that mayo all the way through. And that's all there is to it. The Critter Cafe Cat That. The Critter Cafe Pepper Salad.
So I'm going to play here. And this is all there is to it. It's really easy. You've got tomatoes coming in or anything, want something different. You can really change things up. But it's just the mayo, salt, pepper, crackers, tomatoes, and whatever else you want to throw in it. Ooh, very good. So I want to thank everybody for sticking with us through this craziness. We are planning lots of great things for next year already. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the MFM Home Away From Home weekend. Thank you very much and see you soon.